guess I'll do a summer poem. Watermelon Summer. The watermelon hole is closed and curved and finite, like space, like time, like summer. But once you have it, any way you slice it, it gives a watermelon smile. It divides into days and there's always another. A watermelon summer, so sweet, you can taste its sky. None of it is wasted. Ryan becomes rainbow. The flesh reddens sunsets. And the seeds can be set into the softest nights, ebony teeth of the sky. Watermelon days, watermelon nights, curved and carved and infinite. my poem. I'm going to read somebody else's poem. I can't remember his name, but I love his work. He's beautiful. It's great. Um, Edward something. The heart. In the mist of words, your wordless image marches through the precincts of my night, and all the structures of my language lie undone. The bright cathedrals clatter, and the moon tip spires break their stalks. Sprawled before that raid, I watch the town go under and loose like marble spinning from a child, crazed and hooded creatures of the heart. Oh. I wish I could remember his name. Um, okay, I'm going to do one of mine and that'll be it. Language of the Moon. The night is expectant, a full moon is rising, dumb and a little deaf. She doesn't hear the world's guns going off, the gossip of desperate poets, or the strategies of madmen. Used to being used, she overlooks all but a single question posed by Pines, reminiscence from the beach. To these she speaks, a kind of salty speech, to the various oceans, deep Arabic, a tongue that even a young sea knows. She can teach anyone this language who will listen and wants to learn. <clears throat> she is full tonight with patience, and for hatred has no room for even words. Wow. Thank you.